going to try other things? What, what is it that maybe you can tell them? Um, I would encourage um, you to come. I think that, um, I mean, I, I did extensive research um, before I, I brought my mom here. And um, there was just nothing out there that came anywhere close next to what um, this doctor is saying. Um, and, um, you know, I've had to travel from halfway across the, uni or across the United States um, and, and come up with all the funds and everything. And it was, it's just been completely worth it. So um, if you have a loved one um, and uh, that suffered a stroke, I would highly recommend that you bring them and, and give this a go because if it doesn't work, um, I don't think there's any hardly anything out there that's, that's going to be helpful. Yeah. And if it does work, then you will have been very appreciative and thankful. Have you or a loved one suffered a stroke? Has there been a massive stroke or, or some uh, tiny uh, infarcts in the brain that have caused you impairment in the function of your speech, uh, function with memory, with physical functions, moving an arm, moving a leg? Uh, uh, have you had deficits that have occurred from a stroke and you've had certain amount of improvement through your um, through physical therapy and or through occupational therapy and or speech therapy? and or with blood pressure medications or blood thinners or other things that neurologists have offered you or even the best hospitals have offered you, but you've hit a certain plateau and you are A, not improving anymore in your function and or B, you're afraid that something that caused the stroke is still existing in your brain or in your blood vessels and it may cause a stroke again. Mm -hmm. If that's you, stay tuned because we're gonna be talking about two wonderful ladies who come uh, into my clinic here. I'm Dr. Alani Herman who come to my clinic here in South Florida. They come from Seattle, Washington. You stay tuned because you can hear about some incredible changes that are happening for this lovely lady after just one unique protocol in my clinic. Okay, it's a misreader. <laughs> You're in your early to mid 70s. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, okay. And you had your first stroke which occurred, how, how long ago was that first stroke? Five, five years ago. About five years ago was the first stroke. And with that first stroke, it was pretty massive. It was a massive stroke. And yeah. it caused her impairment in the right arm and the right leg. Yeah, arm and leg. She lost all of her speaking. All speaking. All gone. speaking. She couldn't say one word. Mm -hmm. um, just quite pretty scary. Pretty scary. Yeah, I then, understand. Yeah. And then somehow just she regained function. There was maybe some physical therapy and... Yeah, she had a, yeah, she had a lot of um, she had a lot of physical therapy and speech um, speech therapy. Ther therapy and she gained a lot of her speaking uh, back. And and but even the function of the right arm and leg came back. Function of the right arm and leg to a certain I would, degree. To a certain degree, yeah. To a certain degree. Unfortunately, though, yeah. she had another stroke in was it Febru February February of two thousand nineteen? Yeah, this yeah. year, yeah. Okay, and so that stroke left what kind of impairments in February of 2019? Um, well, she became really weak, mm -hmm. and um, she she seemed really fragile to me, and um, I just felt like she it just everything was kind of going downhill, mm -hmm. and um, I was really scared that you know when is another stroke going to happen again? Mm -hmm. And the doctors were only offering her things like um, that cholesterol medication, um, which is not even cholesterol medication, um, and and blood thinners. And I just was not, I didn't feel like any of the medication they were recommending was going to do anything for her. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and so um, we looked, we found you, yay. Mm -hmm. And. Um, so just um, and, and I'm sorry. Yeah. It, 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 besides where you what you were about to say, I'm sorry. Try to remember uh -huh. what you were going to say. But one of the other malfunctions that occurred again from the second stroke was that she was losing her ability to carry on a conversation, yeah. or lost her ability to carry on a conversation. She couldn't remember things. Memory was poor. Speaking mm -hmm. was poor. Yeah. Speech trying to come up with words. It was very delayed. Very delayed. Yeah. Yeah. And even trying to find a word. Sometimes they couldn't even find a word to, to yeah, say. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Couldn't find a word. Memory. Short term memory was really affected. Really affected. Yeah. And. Um, and now yeah, after so one protocol when we did and what we found, which I will create another video that we'll have attached to this video describing the, some of the unique findings in this unique exam process and the unique 
science that I practice. Now, with that said, uh, what has she regained in this first round, which was close to a 100-day protocol that she followed at home? She went back to Israel and still followed it there. Pretty simple to follow. Was it easy for you to follow? Yeah. Very easy. And now you came back in, and we're talking, today is August 20th, 2019. Your first visit was back in March of this year, shortly after that second stroke. And what improvements now have we experienced? Um, well, the corona. You want her Mostly. to speak for you? Can I not tell the bell? No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I've noticed that it's much easier to hold a conversation with my mom. Mm -hmm. um, she's very cognizant. Um, her ability to retrieve her words are like about 90% better than how it was. And you feel that way too? Before. I mean, she yeah. still has a, an occasional hiccup where she can't find the word, mm -hmm. um, or it takes her a longer time, but she still finds it. Whereas before, she'd be like, um, just at a. Not able to come up yeah, at all. Not at a, yeah. I remember so, that from our first consultation. I mean, it was very difficult for her to express anything. Uh, and yeah. you even said that your other daughter, there's two daughters, sisters, you told me that your other daughter, her sister, is very happy with your improvement level, yeah? Because she notices she can, what, she can carry on a conversation with you now. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And, um, so and also, also the, uh, the short-term memory, um, it seems to me that she has a much better recall mm -hmm. um, of things she just happened yesterday or a few days ago was before she, we would say something to her like, you know, just that happened a few days ago and she'd be like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, now she, she knows. She's pretty sharp. I yeah. remember when I asked you some questions before mm -hmm. the exam today in the consultation, you remembered some things that you didn't even remember yesterday. She right. remembered something yeah, you could totally. even remember yesterday. Right. Yeah, so do you think that her memory is sharper now than pre the February stroke? Oh, yes. It's better than before the, the second stroke. Oh, yeah. But after the, maybe not better than before the first stroke, but it's no, no, better yes, than before yes, yes. the, yeah, before better the than before. first and before the second. It's even better than it's before better the than first. Than, yes. Wow, that's great. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And was there anything else that you noticed that was better about her? I know that there's a lot still that we have to improve. Yeah, yeah she seems to be mu much more positive, um, like a much more positive kind of outlook. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, a lot more. Okay. Yeah. So the good things that we've noticed now is that memory is a lot sharper, mm -hmm. even than pre-first stroke. Mm -hmm. Memory, uh, speech is better than it was after the first and even after the second stroke. And she's more positive now than, than what happened right after that second stroke. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's only going to get better now. We have a lot more to talk about what I found mm -hmm. in the exam, and I will share the second exam findings so with your permission, of course. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. It's nothing too personal here. Uh, and so when you want to look outside the box, you want to step outside the box of regular medicine and you just don't want to only depend on certain medications that you hope and wish are going to get you what you're looking for with brain health and you want to improve your function in speech therapy and occupational therapy and physical therapy and, and all the love from your family and friends who are supporting you haven't done enough for you. And uh, you want to be able to really listen to some other research that's out there and there's science, another way to practice. You can call my clinic, uh, and I am here to help you, and this is a video to help expose that there is other ways, other signs that can really make a difference in your life. And oh, another thing. Yeah. Okay, can we jump in? Please, go ahead. Um, you know, her blood pressure has, has gone down. Um, she used to have to take um, um, blood pressure meds, and now she's still taking them, but they're less. Less amount of it in the yeah. day or less times in the week? Uh, well, in the in the day, like the mm. dosage is is dropped. Yeah, it's and right. the blood pressure is better. It's better, yeah. yeah. Better without all the blood pressure meds, and you check it every day. Good, that's another positive. Yeah, yeah. Because definitely. what we're doing is actually taking away what caused the stress of the blood vessels in the brain. There's different infections, and there's different chemicals that get into the blood vessels in the brain and make those blood vessels swell. They constrict. They cut off blood flow to the parts of the brain. So it's not just from a clot, or a, a thrombus, or an embolism, or a hemorrhage that can occur, uh, you know, where we can have a, an aneurysm or something uh, to that degree, where there's a, a stroke from a block or, or excess of bleeding in a certain part of the brain, but you can actually have occlusion of blood vessels in the brain that make the stroke. The occlusion, not from a clot, but occlusion can happen because the inside of the blood vessel gets so thick, the lumen inside the artery gets so thick that it narrows down, it squeezes down on the amount of space that the blood is flowing through. Mm -hmm. It gets swollen. 
So the research has pointed to infections, viruses and bacteria and things that get into these arteries mm -hmm. that cause the artery to swell internally and that makes a narrower arterial space for the blood flow space for the blood to flow through and bring oxygen to the brain tissue. And that's what we're going after. We're going after being able to uh, relax those arteries a bit and be able to clean up the infections that have gotten into those arteries so that you can have better blood supply to the brain tissue. And then, which is only gonna, as one piece of the puzzle that we're doing here, a part of the support, this therapy, this treatment, is be able to support that brain tissue in this unique way of cleaning up those arteries. And that's what we're doing. So again, you can get involved in this. You can call to make a consultation with my clinic. Watch some other videos on my YouTube channel. I'll put the phone number to my clinic down here at the bottom of the screen or side of the screen, as well as the office email address. You can just call or email and arrange an appointment and, uh, and get started. I wanna thank you ladies for getting on this video with me today to help people know. And if there's one other thing that you could say, cause you said you were looking around and you found me and yay, you found me, so I appreciate that. Is there anything that you want to else that you want to say to people out there who are just thinking, you know, could this really help? I mean, am I making the right decision? Should I wait and try other things? What What is it that maybe you can tell them? Um, I would encourage um, you to come. I think that um, I mean, I I did extensive research um, before I I brought my mom here, and um, there was just nothing out there that came anywhere close next to what. Um, this doctor is saying, um, and um, you know, I've had to travel from halfway across the United across the United States, um, and and come up with all the funds and everything, and it was it's just been completely worth it. So um, if you have a loved one um, and uh, that suffered a stroke, I would highly recommend that you bring them and and give this a go because. If it doesn't work, um, I don't think there's any hardly anything out there that's that's going to be helpful. Yeah. And if it does work, then you will have been very appreciative and thankful. Yeah, of okay. course. Thanks. Thank look you. Look forward to right? helping. You're welcome. You're welcome. We look forward to helping you.